This is Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Hey, Michael, how's it going? It's going great. How you doing? Good. So talking about coming back, you know, you've been part of this franchise for a long period of time, but you didn't do the last one. So coming into this, how did you work with the story that Akilah wrote and knowing what you did with the previous films to, to make this your own? <laughs> um, yeah, first of all, Akilah wrote an incredible script. I That really sucked me in. I, I was... I love the nun as a character. I think she is so scary and so iconic. Um, and uh, but you know, it was it was a question. I was like, do I do I want to do a spinoff? I just did Conjuring Three. Do I want to do a uh, you know a sequel to to the spinoff? But when I read that script, it was so powerful. It had so many great ideas in it. I loved I loved the core th this idea of this life debt that that. Um, that sister Irene has for Maurice, that her life was saved in the last film. And, and now when we realize, and she realizes that Maurice is possessed, that she's sent on this journey. I thought that was really compelling and really emotional. I also loved the relationship that she had with, with sister Deborah, with Storm Reed, who, you know, this is a, she was, Irene was like the, the junior agent, the junior, um, kind of part of this uh, this duo in the last film. And now she's like the senior partner and she's she's kind of bringing in Deborah under her wing. And and it's she's and sister Deborah plays in Novitiate where, you know, basically a nun in training. And that's what um, Irene was in the first film. So I think there was kind of a great like swap there and their friendship through their mov movie and their journey of faith, I thought was really, really compelling. You know, you, you've done the previous films and when people see these movies, they want to be scared. They want to hold on to their seats. You know, so as a director, knowing what you did with your previous films, do you up up the ante as far as, okay, it's not thrilling enough. It's not, the intensity is not there. We got to make them go, you know, one of those. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something that always, I think horror audiences want that. And I think now there's this like renaissance of, of horror movies. Um, so the stakes are always being raised. Um, I think that that comes in two parts. I think in the first part, it is uh, the scares need to be different. They need to be inventive. There needs to be something that makes this experience unique. Um, now, because there's been so many horror movies, uh, you know, people are starting to see the tricks of the trade. So it's really the the challenges on the filmmaker to to make it as unique as possible. The other part of that is the characters. And I think just like falling in love with these characters, having an emotion, emotional connection to these characters is so important. I mean, that's what you're, you're not going to, you're going to disconnect from the movie if you don't, you know, you don't love the people on the screen. And that's uh, I think so, something that's so important. So important to me. I think it's as an audience member, it's so important to me just, just making the movie. What do you think has connected? This is why I think one of the rarest franchises that has met that has a lot of spinoffs, you know, but they're connected in some way, but audiences still come out to see it because they want to see how they're connected. You know, we're not talking like a, a Fast and the Furious or, or a Jason movie where it's just a continuation. These are a story that just kind of like went different ways, but they still find a way that they're all connected one way or the other. Why do you think fans still come out to see these things? I think... Um... I think people love that ongoing story. I think that the the interconnectivity of it is is really is really powerful. I think that it's um, there's been a lot of key or a couple of key events in the in the the Conjuring universe, and one of those is from the very first Conjuring we see the exorcism of Maurice, and we learn more about that in the second Conjuring that that was actually Valak at work there, and that event is this kind of cornerstone of the entire series. And we're 10 years into the Conjuring universe. This is, um, I believe it's the ninth film. I've lost track, but it's 10 years of Conjuring from that very first film leading up to this moment. And it, uh, we don't take that lightly. This, there's a lot of threads that, that come together in this film. And um, I'm, very, I'm very excited for our fans to see it and discover those on their own. Before I let you go, in doing these movies, what part of your skill set as a director has improved or do you need to work on or do you think you worked on while doing this that you say, OK, I can try this on my next project? You know, I think it's really. I'm always learning. I think, honestly, that's one of the things that um, and I think that's not just a, a quality in the, the thing that I've learned more as I've made more movies and worked more and gotten older is 
you the more you know the less you know the the more you you learn the more you realize that there is like so much in the world that you can take in and it's technology is always changing and developing and not just with like the equipment you're using but just like with the way that you can bring your entire team together and i think it's like that's something that i you know this is so much a team sport it's like it's almost like um, even though, you know, because of the strikes, I'm the only one you get to talk to. I'm sure you would love to talk to our amazing, uh, you know, writers and actors. Um, but uh, it's such a team sport and finding ways. The thing that I'm trying to always get better at is just finding ways to to bring the team together and make sure everyone's talking the same language, seeing the same movie, just envisioning the same thing, because, you know, I can't do this on my own you know you need like you need so many people to make a movie and and um that's probably it that's the most long-winded answer i could give you but it's an hey. honest answer <laughs> congrats on the film congrats on the work i'm sure i'll talk to you down the road in your next project take care thank you so much